hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss coffee here and today we're back with a unboxing yes now as you can see this unboxing comes to us from the folks over at Mary's Diamonds. So huge thank you to the folks over at Mary's Diamonds for providing this for us. Apparently they had a few new kits come out and they wanted me to go ahead and showcase one of the kits and I'm so freaking excited for this kit you guys. I want to work on it so bad. So I need to hurry up with my current project which means I actually have to start working on. It. So with that said, no further ado, it did come in a box. It didn't come in the little plastic. It came in a box. And don't worry, I ripped my address off of it. So it is a little smushed up, but I'm not worried about the box. This is what the box is made for. It is made to protect the diamond painting, which, as you guys know, is poured glue from Mary's Diamonds. So trying to damage it or it getting damaged in shipping, it's not it's not often that it happens. If it does, just contact them, and I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll take care of it for you. Uh, see, you got a little dent there. All you got to do is just, like, bloop, smush that up. So it's good. It's good. All right. We're going to pour everything out of the box. Ooh. We got some goodies. All right, so we got our drills. That. Ooh, look at that. So this is one of like kind of like a Russian doll uh, drill holder here. So we got drill trays. Just like that. And then we have this beautiful white diamond pen. And it is a drill pen. A little single placer with a big old diamond on it. That's really cute like that so we get some goodies with our uh diamond painting this time and then of course if you did not know one of my main reasons for liking mary diamonds isn't because of their kits it's not that they don't have good kits they do but y'all if you've never seen their toolkit they get you get a big boat you get a multi-placer or two multi-placers a plate of wax a clear pen but the the creme de la creme Viva la resistance is their gold tweezers. I have been obsessed with these things since I started diamond painting. They're not even branded, but I love them so much. So you get these beautiful gold tweezers and they are the sharp ones. So please make sure to keep them sheathed when you're not using them so you don't shank yourself. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pick that and pull that out of the way because we don't really care about that right now. And then, of course, we have our drills, but we have our kits. We're going to take a look at our kit first. So you just pull the ribbon. It's like a gift every time. You just pull the ribbon. And it's not a big kit. Look at that. Oh, let me roll it. Now, because it's, it's poor glue, you can roll it backward and forward and make sure it's laying flat. So you roll it. Bam. Look how gorgeous that little kit is. Yes, I absolutely love it. It is confetti riddled and I don't even care. I want to work on this kit so bad. Oh my God, I love it. So this kit, what is it called? Moonlight Princess. It is a 50 by 50. It is a round. Y'all, I haven't been this excited about a kit in so long. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I ripped the paper. So, be careful with the paper. It has 39 colors. And we have a lot of alphabetical numbers and symbols. I'm not seeing a whole lot of numbers. You got numbers 1 through 8 there at the top. So, you have 39 colors. And usually, they're in order. So, let's see what our color palette is. We're just gonna take it out and show you the color palette of it. And then we're gonna, of course, figure out what her skin tone is, even though her skin tone has a multitude of colors in it. It's not just one color, but I wanna see what the main color of her skin tone is. Problem is, like I said, it's really, really confetti heavy, which I was not expecting that. But it's really confetti heavy for a 50 by 50, so uh, hopefully, the colors don't get lost and they blend well. So we're going to go ahead and get these out. I'm seeing a lot of colors that are making me happy for the skin tone. I'm not seeing too many red colors, um, which is a big thing apparently with uh, POC is that uh, the computers generate that color as red instead of brown. 
so uh, you tend to get a lot of red skin tones, and yeah, that's not that's not it. <laughs> that's that's not it for POC. That's not it. So this is our color palette. So lots of dark muted colors, which is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I would cover it up with release paper. So as you, if you are new to my channel and new to me, I don't do well with dark colors. But I love a lot of kits that are coming out lately with the darker colors. So you have to cover it in release papers and just finish it section by section. Um, so we do have a couple of AB diamonds. Eh, eh, AB alert. So if you don't know what an AB is and you're new to diamond painting, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that they put on the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. And when you lay them down on your canvas, it will pick up the light from the color next to it and make it sparkle brighter as well because if one shines, we all shine, you heard. So 712, 818, 5200. I think that's it. There's just three. Yes, it looks like there's only three, which is perfectly fine because they're beautiful colors. And we're going to figure out where those go as well. Oh, we also have two more colors in the bag, which were two more darker colors. But I'm seeing a lot of this colors here which I'm gonna guess are making up the skin tone. 758 is a really good color for a lighter skin tone. My go-to typically is 720 to 721, I wanna say. Um, so let's see here. Let's, let's move the drills. First things first. Let's find, because we're gonna find a big patch. So number seven, on your legend is 315. So let's look for 315 real quick. 758 is, what color is that? 758 is H. I'm seeing Z, I'm seeing, I'm not seeing any H on her face. Okay, let's look for the 315. All right, sorry about that, got a phone call. With that, I went ahead and straightened that up and I found three of the main colors you're seeing in the skin. So 372, 315, and 758 for the shading. So you have that lighter color, you have a, a highlighting light color, and then you have this color. I think this color is going to work well because the skin tone is in the dark. It's not lit up by mostly anything except for like the moon in the center. So I think that skin tone is actually going to work out pretty well. Um, and of course, there's a multitude of other little colors in there like K which is 779, which is this color. So it's going to come out looking brown. It's going to look like she's in the shade. So I think they got the skin tone spot on for this kit. Now, where do those ABs go? So you remember, we have three ABs. So we have 5200, 818, and 712. So on Mary's Diamonds, they put their ABs looks like at the bottom. So it says R after the number. So if we look, we're going to look for, let's see, we're looking for like a backwards E shape, which is going to be all on this uh, moon here. You're also going to have some of that up in her, her forehead moon as well, her third eye. And then, uh, so that's going to be this color that you're seeing with the backwards E. And then you have like a sideways L for 712. And that's also going to be in those highlighting colors here. And it looks like in the third eye as well. Which is not really a third eye, it's just the moon on her forehead. But you know what I mean. And then a lowercase a for this color here. Which I'm, I do see some of the sideways L's here on the side and some of the backwards E's. Um... So I'm also seeing those lowercase L's on the hair. So it looks like these three are highlighting colors. So you're going to see these three. Let me get my pointer out. So you're going to have it here. Some in the sparkle down at the bottom here. So you're getting them sprinkled throughout. There's some over here on the side of the character. Uh, there's some on the forehead. And there's also some in the hair, which is awesome. So you're getting those nicely sprinkled throughout. So I'm pretty happy with that. And if there's anything else I would like to add, I will just get some uh, of my highlighting diamonds and do it that way. Um, I don't want to take away from the luminosity, the luminous, the lumin, I don't want to take away from the luminescence. There we go. Of the moon and stuff. So I don't want to add like any like 
rhinestones or anything like that. I want to see how it looks like what it turns out to be. And if I don't like it, then, then I will switch it. But it looks like it's going to turn out pretty good. And the fact that they got her skin tone really good, mm, chef kiss right there. So I'm pretty happy with this. I so badly want to get started on this. I don't want to abandon my current project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to hurry up and get through my current project so I can work on this. This will definitely 100% be next. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about this kit, please leave those down in the comment section below and I'll get, to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. My apologies. Um, also for Mary's Diamonds, because I didn't really point it out, you have your schematic at the top with a picture underneath with all the information here. You also have the stuff on the side over here, the schematic on the side over here. Yes, Mary's Diamond does legally license their artwork. So their pour glue legally licensed artwork and it's usually not badly priced. So with that said, if you've not checked out Mary's Diamonds, check them out. And if you have already, check out to see what they have new that just came in. So with that said, again, huge thank you to Mary's Diamond for sending this out. I really, really appreciate it. I can't wait to get started on it. But with that said, I got to get out of here. So thank you again so much for watching. And with that, remember to wash your hands. Don't touch your face in public. Wear your mask and keep your six feet. Stay crafty, stay caffeinated, and stay safe. And always try to remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do. And always stay cool. Bye, guys.